big news. Uh, Randy Weingarten is refusing to debate Mike Pompeo. Mike Pompeo uh, threw down the gauntlet uh, with Randy Weingarten, who he called the most dangerous person in the world. Uh, <laughs> true story. Uh, this is a guy who ran the CIA and the State Department during the Trump administration. And uh, he had some really, really harsh words for her. We talked about it a little bit uh, last week. We had uh, uh, Mike Pompeo, and I'm quoting here, he told a semaphore that, um, she was the most dangerous person in the world, and it's not even a close call. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, she obviously was not happy with that. And so Mike Pompeo challenged her to a debate. Uh, he said that um, if you ask uh, who's most likely to take this republic down to be the teachers unions and the filth that they are teaching our kids and the fact that they don't know math and reading or writing, uh, which, of course, if you've been following the Newman Report or uh, educated, you, you know that uh, this is a true story. Right. The federal government's own data shows that our kids can't read. They can't write. They don't know math. They don't know science. All they know is gender stuff, climate stuff and uh, revolutionary stuff. But uh, so. Uh, Mike Pompeo is challenging her to a debate, and she put out a statement on this. She said, uh, and I'm quoting here from her statement, um, if he wants to engage in a real discussion about what children need to thrive, how to strengthen public education, or the importance of treating teachers with respect, fine with me, but I will not be a prop for Mr. Pompeo's presidential ambitions. And, uh, you know, to be fair to uh, Ms. Weingarten, um, yeah, Mike Pompeo may have some presidential ambitions, and uh, that may be what this is about, right? He knows this is a chance to get some free publicity. Um, and, you know, in one sense, he's, he's absolutely correct. He's right to call out the uh, government education system. Um, it, it is absolutely the greatest threat to our republic. It is indoctrinating, dumbing down, and brainwashing something like 80% of our kids. Uh, there's no way our republic survives this. But I do think it's a little bit unfair to lay all the blame at the feet of Miss Weingarten. Uh, of course, there's the NEA, too, right? This book here by uh, Samuel Blumenfeld, NEA Trojan Horse in American Education. Uh, what you'll realize very quickly is that uh, it's not just the AFT, the American Federation of Teachers. The NEA is uh, one of the most wicked, evil organizations in the world. In fact, uh, the U.S. Secretary of Education in 2004, uh, he actually called the NEA uh, his name was uh, Rod Page. He called the NEA a terrorist organization. Uh, and, and frankly, I think in some ways it's worse than a terrorist organization because a terrorist organization, um, you know, destroys bodies, uh, whereas these uh, indoctrination centers, this weaponized fake education is destroying hearts, minds and souls, which uh, is just absolutely atrocious. I mean, the, the, the lives that are being destroyed by these educational terrorists are um I mean, they're destroyed in a very real way, right? These kids are turning to suicide. They're turning to drug addiction. They're turning to uh, pharmaceutical psychotropic drugs that in many cases cause them to lose their minds. Uh, it's it's absolutely tragic what is happening. And certainly the uh, the indoctrination system is to blame. But to try to suggest that it's all uh, Weingarten, I think, is a little bit unfair. Um, you know, as I tell people, the, the government education system is kind of like a hydra. And uh, there's lots of tentacles on this hydra that are, that are being used to devour your children. So, yeah, the teachers' unions are a, a big one, an important one, but um, there are many, many others. How about uh, the State Departments of Education? How about the U.S. Department of Education? How about the teachers' colleges where they're pumping out these revolutionary uh, brainwash indoctrinators to uh, terrorize and brainwash our kids? Um, how about the uh, school boards? How about the uh, publishing companies, right? How about the UN Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, that is playing such a key role here? How about the big foundations like Bill Gates of Hell that are funding massive amounts of crazy, crazy, crazy propaganda masquerading as education? I mean, Common Core was uh, really an initiative of Bill Gates after he signed a deal with UNESCO, the UN Education Agency, to create a global set of uh, teacher training programs, curricula, and master syllabus. So uh, this is a, a multifaceted problem, and uh, Randy Weingarten, uh, as, as evil and terrible as she is, is not uh, solely responsible for this. Uh, we have covered her recently, though. Um, they had uh, an event at the White House earlier this year. We covered this in April where uh, Biden said that uh, all the children are ours, right? Uh, they're all our children. He's talking to uh, the AFT and the teachers union. Uh, and then we also covered Randy Weingarten. She was very upset uh, last October when uh, it finally dawned on her that, oh my goodness, maybe the conservatives are finally getting a brain and they're giving up on school reform, realizing that the schools can't be reformed. Maybe they're trying to destroy government indoctrination, masquerading as public education. And uh, yeah, she put out this thing, she said, uh, uh, tweeted an article, Republicans don't want 
want ref to reform the public education. They want to end it. It's like, uh-oh, it's finally dawning on them that uh, conservatives are waking up and are not going to go for this anymore. So uh, congratulations from, to Mike Pompeo for starting this discussion, getting this debate going. But uh, there is so much more to the issue, sir. You can give me a call. I'll be happy to chat.